Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Designs by Stephanie. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you have not been here before, I would love to have you as part of the DBS family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside it. Don't forget to click on that all on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos that I load in the near future. Today I have for you a video where I am going to try to restick my silhouette mat. This is the one, my old one that came with the machine. I think I bought one extra one as well. So I don't know if it's the original one or what, but it's an actual silhouette mat. It no longer sticks. I'm having to tape stuff to it. So what I'm going to do, I watched a few videos and it worked for some people and it worked, didn't work for other people. So I'm going to try it out myself. But I'm going to take all of this tape that's on it off. And I got a bunch of tape because now, because it doesn't stick, I use the tape to hold the stuff on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the mat off. I got some goo gone. And I'm going to use this to put on it and strip what's on there off. Because I don't want any old residue on there. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Easy Tech. It's by Krylon Easy Tech. It's repositionable adhesive 7020. So I used this in one of my other videos where I was trying to make some templates for my rhinestones. I used it for that, but I actually bought it for this purpose here. So I'm going to try it and see what it does. And hopefully it works. Because most of my boards now, not boards or whatever they're called, most of them now don't have any sticky left on them. So I'm trying to keep from having to keep buying sticky. This cost $8.99 at Hobby Lobby and I use my 40% off. I always go in there if I want something and I buy one the one little thing and get the 40% off. Or I make sure it's my most expensive thing if I'm buying it more than one item and then this google i actually got this from the dollar tree so this just cost a dollar from the dollar tree so i'm gonna angle my camera down i got my little thing set up and they said you put it on it and wipe it right off this google is the direction it's so little i can't see with my glasses on pre-test inconspicuous area hard surface apply google wipe wash with hot soapy water for extra good messes. Let's sit for five to ten minutes. I mean, put on carpet. You can put it on clothing. Didn't know that. So it's good for a lot of stuff. But we're gonna use it for this. So I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna put some gloves on because I don't know what this mess is made out. Made out of. Do not swallow. Avoid eye contact. Do not breathe fumes. Hmm. So it must be strong. So just like this. So you probably need a mask on. So I probably put one of my masks on that I made. And then I'm going to put it on this mat and I'll let you guys see it. So let me re-angle my camera and, uh, camera. <laughs> camera and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, I just got a piece of material here. And I'm going to take this. I don't know how much you have to gonna need. So I'm just going to pour it on there. And take this. And just wipe it over there. Mm, it is kind of strong. I got on these this mask, but the smell of it is kind of strong. So I'm going to let it sit on here for a few minutes. I'm not going to try to wipe it, just wipe it right off. Because I want to make sure that it's all off. And then I'm going to go to the sink, to the tub, rather. And then I'm going to wash it off. Okay guys, pretty much I let it sit on here for about eight minutes and then I wiped it with this paper towel to see if it was coming up and just about everything is up so I'm gonna go ahead and go and wash it with some soapy water to get the rest of it off 
This is very smooth now. So that goo, goo gone actually does get the residue up off the surfaces of it. So that will actually works. So let me go take this to the bathroom and use some soapy water and get it clean. I wanted to get most of it off because I don't want this going down my drain and clogging up my, my line. So it's pretty much clear. It's not the best board because I don't cut it up, but I still want to be able to reuse it and try to do the same thing with my other boards. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm pretty much I just want to do it in my sink. This is my hair bathroom that I do my hair and stuff in. So I'm just using some this is Myers cleaner. And I'm gonna put it on the front and the back. Rinse it off. And let the water get hot. It still looks a little woolly, but I'm going to dry it with a paper towel and hope for the best. Like everything it just looks woolly. Feels woolly. That's pretty much it. Oh, close. Okay, guys, it is all cleaned off and dry. It just feels a little oily to me. Like it has some kind of grease on it, but I think it's okay. It don't feel oily once you take, I take my gloves off of. But I wiped it with a dry cloth or with a damp cloth. Getting all the water off of it. So I'm just going to proceed on to the next step. I um, got stuff up so I won't get anything on my computer. I got up some boards behind this so when I spray it doesn't hit my laptop or anything on my monitors. So what I'm going to do, let me make sure I read this right. See what it says to do. It says it's extremely flammable. Where's the freaking direction? Okay, it says three hours. Once you put it on here, so I guess that you, you just spray it on here and you wait three hours to get it off. And I forgot you got to squeeze this to get it off. I'm just going to spray it. And try to get an even coat. And just try to stay in between the squares, but I think I'm not. But Oh well. I don't want to put too much. I don't want it too sticky, but I'm gonna put it on here and we're gonna let it dry and we'll come back. I see that I don't have a lot at the very tip top, which is where it's needed. That's one. But we're gonna let this sit for three hours and then we'll come back and see how it goes. So stay tuned for that. Okay, yeah, I let this dry for about, it's probably been about four hours, but it is sticky. I did not, and I put in the video that you need to tape this, this perimeter here up first before you spread this on here. So now this is sticky, so what I'm going to have to do is put tape on it and then clean up this outside part before I run it through my machine. But that's okay. I'm, I'm good with that, but I got some sticky paper here. So what I want to do 
is put it on here and see how it sticks now i see that you know i don't know if you guys can see that or not you can't see through the mat anymore like you could when i first done it and i may have sprayed too much on here i don't know but i know like when you get them sometimes if they're too sticky then you can put a uh, something down on it to pull some of the stickiness off but we'll see so i'm going to stick some paper on here and see how it sticks. And I use this little thing. This is for wallpaper. I got it from like Lowe's or Home Depot years ago. And I was going through some boxes and found it. And I was like, oh, I can use that. But does it stick? Yes, it does stick. But I cannot run it through my machine because I have it on my edge. Now, the part is, how sticky is it? Will I be able to get this up without ripping off the back of the paper? Is it too sticky? That is the question. Which, I think I may have put too much on here, but let's see. So, I'm going to pull it up. Some of the paper is sticky. Not a lot. Well, that's good. Which I got that when I, for my strong mat. Oh, and I sprayed more up here at the top. You know what? This ain't working because when I'm pulling this part, it's pulling the sticky up off of it on that corner. Maybe I ain't let it dry long enough, but see, it pulled, it stuck. And when I tried to pull it, it's actually pulling the sticky up, all of it, on this corner right here. Ooh, it's just a layer. Yep. But this is still sticky. So I think I sprayed, I went, remember I went back and sprayed more here, so I think I put too much right there. But. I can fix it. I think it will work. 100% work. It's just that I got too much in this corner. So what I'm going to do is clean up these edges and just leave the put some tape on the put some tape on the inner, clean up the edges, then put some tape on the outer and just fix this little piece right here because it's too much. And when I'm turning it up, it's actually taking the sticky off. So I'm going to fix all of that. But will it work? Yes, because that stay. You just can't put too much on there. So you just need an even coat of it on there. And you need to dry. It says three hours. And I it's probably been like almost four. Three and a half. But I think you need to let it dry overnight. And that's what I think. So if you do this, make sure you tape up your edges and make sure that you let it dry for 24 hours i don't think three hours is long enough because it says that but it's still tacky it's still tacky to my fingers and i think in the this area is fine for three hours because i didn't put too much here but here where i put too much i think that needed longer to dry but that's okay as long as i know that it works then we're good I don't know how long it'll stick. Maybe I'll do an update video after I finish it and re get this paper off and redo the outsides of it and let you guys know that um, at a later date. But right now, I think this is fine. I don't think there's going to be any issues with it, but I just don't know how long it'll, it'll stick, stay sticky. It's just a little bit too sticky, that's all. But it'll work. If it's sticking and most of it comes up, then you're good. But you don't want this this on the edge. That is it, guys. I think this, like I said, this is a winner. It will work. You just got to make sure you evenly spray. And I think I need to hold the can up a little bit higher and not so close to it when I spray it. Because it's not evenly distributed. But 
this part here looks good it worked good as you see when i pulled it up wasn't anything wasn't anything on it so that's it thank you for stopping by my channel i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions check below i leave the link to the google and the easy track in the description box below on my amazon affiliate link you can click that and find it or you can check hobby lobby is where i got it from and google and i got from the dollar tree so you can check there if you going out and about and you don't want to order it from online so thank you for stopping by my channel i hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing you all in my next video tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>